Hello guys, welcome to all and web tutor. I am Sanjay. From this video session guys, we are going to start about Laravel 8 framework. This, this will be very exciting. This is part 1. So inside this video, we will start over system requirements as well as how can we install Laravel 8 framework inside our system. And also guys, if you are looking about the blog articles of CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, then you must visit this blog website. Inside this blog website, you must find several interesting blog articles with good contents. So as this is first part, so inside this video, we will see that what basically we need inside our system to install Laravel 8 framework. Inside Laravel 8 version, we have several new features, so we will discuss all about the newly added features inside this course. We are now going to discuss about the basic set of Laravel 8 features. So here, inside this slide, you will find some base features of Laravel. This is commonly available in every version like the use of template engines, eloquent ORM, MVC support, migration system for databases, security, artisan console and many more. These are the basic, very basic features of Laravel. Apart from these features, we have several like advanced features also added inside this Laravel framework. So we will cover all the features while going through these courses. Now if I back to browser, go to documentation, first of all we need to understand that what system needs before installation of Laravel 8 framework. Now if I scroll down this is the landing page of Laravel 8 page and this is all about the installation. And also if we back to our blogging website Inside this, we have an article over the installation guide and if I click on this link, Laravel 8 installation guide. If I scroll down, here are the step by step all about the PHP installation of 7.3 or greater than 7.3 version as well as the needed PHP extensions. Back to Laravel documentation. So here, while running Laravel 8 framework, this is the PHP version we actually need. The PHP version must be 7.3 or greater than 7.3. This is all about PHP extensions or you may say these are the modules like BC Math, PHP extension, C type, PHP extensions and several. Apart from these extensions and PHP version, also we need means we have two ways to install Laravel 8 framework. The two commands as we already know all about by Laravel installer as well as by the help of composer. If I back to blogging website, so first of all let's see that how can we upgrade PHP version. So before making this video. I have the PHP version of 7.2 and we have upgraded successfully to 7.3. How can we check? If we go, I have created a file called info.php at html folder and simply type info.php. So as we can see that in my system, I have the current version that is 7.3.22. And also inside this we have a loaded modules row and inside this loaded modules row we can find all the modules which is necessary for Laravel 8 version. So back to blogging website. Inside this all you can find some documentation here it is. So inside this first of all we have to set all about PHP and server configuration. Next we need to install composer. If suppose you are using Ubuntu operating system, so to update or upgrade the PHP version, you need to run some code snippets or let's say terminal commands. So in my case, in my system, I was having Ubuntu OS 18.04 and 
I will I am successfully upgraded by the help of these terminal commands. First of all, you need to copy this command called sudo apt update. This will upgrade your Ubuntu packages to the latest version. So either you can run this command or sudo apt upgrade. By the help of any of these commands, you are going to update your Ubuntu packages. Next, we need to add sudo apt install software properties common. What basically I mean, this is a command you need to copy back to terminal and simply paste the command inside this and pressing enter. So I was told you that before making this video, I have run each command and upgraded my PHP version. Back to website. So by the help of these step by step commands actually we have we need to upgrade and finally this is all about PHP installation of 7.3 version. Now next we need to see that how can we install Composer. So simply we need to update Composer by the help of simple terminal commands. First of all, we need to download Composer installer. So here is the command. Simply copy and paste into the terminal. Next we generate, we need to generate our hash key. This is the another command we need to run after this hash generation. And finally, by the help of this command actually, we can install Composer in our system. And this is the command. So if I back to terminal, and simply type composer because I have already installed and as we can see that in my system composer is available. So now we can move to the installation of Laravel 8 version because the system requirements and the composer requirements are already installed in my system. So to install Laravel 8 framework we have two options available. As we have discussed, the first way is all about Laravel installer or the second way by the help of Composer. So I will choose the Composer option and here it is via Composer we, are, we need to create a project. So simply copy this command and if I copy and paste into the terminal, it will going to create a project with the name of blog. So if I copy and if suppose in your system Composer is not successfully installed or let's say Composer is not available then while running this command you might get some errors related with Composer. So copy this command back to terminal. Now I will go inside my HTML folder so where www.html Let's create a directory with the name of Laravel 8 CD Laravel 8 It's not Laravel, actually Laravel-8 Now we are currently inside this folder So what I will do The command what I have copied Pasted here And this command will going to create a blog folder means this is a project folder inside this Laravel 8 directory. So simply I am pressing enter. We need to wait for a while because it is installing as we can see it has created Laravel forward slash Laravel project at blog directory. And currently as we can see that it is installing the Laravel 8.0.3 version. And successfully as we can see that installation is going on it is actually loading or installing all the packages these packages behind the scene actually we will use inside application before making this video actually I have installed a Laravel 8 version so that's why it is loading some of the packages like loading from cache otherwise you will get the download process so in my case, while installation of these modules as we can see that loading from cache and this is because before making this video actually I had done a level 8 installation. Otherwise you will get something downloading 100%. 
now go at the footer so successfully as we can see that we have successfully installed Laravel 8 version in my system so if I back to directory structure currently we are inside this HTML folder now if I find all about Laravel 8 and here as we can see that we have a blog folder inside this blog folder this is the version 8 of Laravel so first of all actually in the next video we will understand about the folder and the directory structure so let's run this application to browser back to terminal again we have two options to run this application either, either using artisan console command or simply copy and paste URL into the browser so we will see both options so the first option that commonly used for the development mode that is php artisan and simply let's serve now if i press enter actually php artisan command is not going to recognize because currently we have to go inside blog folder because this is level setup and inside this let's type php artisan and serve pressing enter the laravel development server has been started at this localhost 8000 port now if i copy this link or simply let's open link it will redirect to the browser and going to open this url and as we can see that this is all about laravel 8 and also you can find a new feature that is a new landing page has been added inside this Laravel 8 version because in the previous versions actually we had the old landing page also this is the first way to run our application now simply if I close this development server I can reload this page it is not going to work so the second way simply if i back to project setup copy this path back to browser let's type localhost and here we have laravel 8 folder and this is our blog folder pressing enter it is going to list all the files and folders what we have inside directory so inside this we should see a public folder simply click on that and here we have some error that is all about permission error so we need to allow this folder called logs or simply we need to give a sufficient permission to this storage folder so what I will do simply I'm going to copy this path back to terminal first I will log in with the root user and let's say that I need to give a sufficient permission so this is all about that we are going to give permission to this storage folder pressing enter and again if I back to browser reload this page and successful we can see all about our landing page so now inside this video we had seen all about system requirements composer installation and all about Laravel 8 installation in the next video we will see all about the folder structure and how can we move further inside this laravel 8 development so inside this blogging website you can find all about laravel step by step installation guidelines so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i'll give my best as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day